Before coming to Legal Outreach, I would describe myself as unorganized. Didn't really have a sense of direction. I was about 14 years old, completely clueless. I had no idea what I wanted to do with myself. I thought if I'm above 65, then I'll go to college, then I'll, then I'll do this, this, that, I'll become successful in life. I had no clear picture of how to get there or what a college looked like. My mom doesn't speak English, and there was only so much she could do to help me. She wanted me to go to college, but what did it mean to go to college? It, it, she couldn't tell me, and that's what Legal Outreach did. Here's the population with so much potential and so much ability to contribute. We find that potential, and we make it come alive. So the story of legal outreach um, actually began while I was in law school. I wanted to continue to open up the doors to equal opportunity. So I started thinking about ways of combining law and education as a means of giving those in urban communities a leg up. And working with 11th and 12th graders who had taken a law elective class, I discovered that so many of these young people were very, very bright and talented, yet at the same time had been deprived of even a decent education. In those initial years, we thought it was important, first of all, to support the academic. And so we started an after-school program and tutorial center because I don't care how excited students are about the law, at the end of the day, they needed a strong academic profile. In addition to that, we provided students mentors who could nurture that aspiration to go into the legal profession if they chose to. And so Legal Outreach at that point started working with kids at the middle school level and developed a full-fledged college-bound program from ninth grade all the way through the 12th grade years with the hopes of helping them get into the most competitive colleges possible. We're not only closing the achievement gap, we're closing the outlook gap. That doesn't really allow them to envision a real path for their future. There are six summer law institutes that we do in conjunction with six law schools starting the summer before their ninth grade year. When I experienced the Summer Law Institute, I automatically saw my future. In order to get where I needed to be, I needed to be here. The Summer Law Institute definitely builds discipline. To actually be an attorney for five weeks in the summer, there's a lot of work that goes into it. So it makes you realize, okay, becoming an attorney is not easy. Like you get the lifestyle, but there's a lot of hard work that you have to put behind it. So they're holding you to a very high standard, standards that I had never been held to before. By the end of just the Summer Law Institute, that process of having them start to believe in themselves and see new role models is the start of the transformation. We take them then into the college-bound program, and that's where we really build the skills and we support them. The college-bound program includes a writing program, a constitutional law debate program, a mentoring program, after-school study program, there are internships, there's an SAT prep program, there's a college admissions program. Knowing that I wanted to get to college, but not knowing how to get there, it gave me a clear path. It kind of shows you what you do the first year, freshman year, sophomore, junior, and senior year in high school. And so I was like, oh wow, this is what I need to do, and that's the finish line. I was like, this is golden. Students come to Saturday writing class every other Saturday for four years. Freshman year is a grammar intensive, Sophomore and junior year are essay writing courses, and senior year students produce a 10-page research paper. Saturday writing class gave me the opportunity to mold my writing, become a better writer, a better thinker, develop writing skills that would impress colleges. Because I had a chance to hone those writing skills, I was able to better uh, acclimate to the expectations of my professors in college. The teacher pulled me aside and said, wow, you have a good, command, a good command of grammar and English language in ways that I didn't expect these incoming students to have. I got an A in that course, and I just did really well as an English major. Another program that has been great for me has been the debate program. DOMA does not violate the Equal Protection Clause. The Constitutional Law Debate Program for our college-bound students begins in their sophomore year. Students work with an attorney mentor and a law student coach. 
It's intended to instill confidence in our students. It helps them with public speaking. They learn about constitutional law issues. It helps them organize their thoughts in a logical, well thought out manner. It prepares them to become critical thinkers. The hours I spent on my constitutional law debate briefs and, and the preparation of my oral argument and the, the coaching sessions and meeting with my mentor, those were all things that I greatly enjoyed and realized that a profession doing this full time would be something that was ideal for me. Legal Outreach really taught me how to sit down and organize my time and how to stay on task and how to focus and how to do homework even. We provide after school tutors to specifically help students in any subject that they're struggling as well as to help them develop the work ethic necessary, the discipline to really get their work done on a daily basis. They're learning what it takes to get to a top 50 school so that from the very beginning that they start their high school career, that's the mission that they're on. That's the path that they know they're going towards. You have to be disciplined if you're going to get that 4.0 in college. You have to be disciplined if you're going to get to law school. In everything we do, whether it's the freshman grammar competitions or the awards for best essays and best essay writers, we also instill a really positive sense of peer pressure so that the students are motivating themselves to do well. Everyone pushing themselves kind of pushed me to you know, realize that if I'm not challenged, I'll be complacent. I'll never kind of reach my potential. We see the success in what we do. We have a 100% high school graduation rate, nearly 100% college matriculation rate, and not just any college, but the best colleges in the country. This past year, we have Cornell, Wellesley, couple to Wesleyan. One year we sent almost 14 black and Latino boys to Ivy or Ivy comparable schools. In many ways, Legal Outreach's success is due to the many partnerships that we've formed. There are six law schools, there are 35 law firms, four financial institutions, four governmental and public interest organizations, over 160 lawyers that serve as mentors, there are 130 law students that serve as coaches for the constitutional law debates. I think it's very important to bring diversity to the profession, and I think Legal Outreach does it amazingly well. There's no better program I'm aware of to provide students that have the potential with the ability to maximize themselves, educationally and professionally. To me, the mentoring program was really good because when you really can't see yourself in a certain position, then oftentimes that hinders people from achieving and from doing those things. One of the best experiences I've had in my life was working at a law firm as an intern. The purpose of the internship program is to provide a one-week experience to a sophomore with the hopes that he or she will be inspired to pursue higher education and professional careers. The internship that we host every summer, we have eight students come in and they act like lawyers for the week and they learn about all the different practice areas at our firm and then we put together a major project for them where they argue uh, a summary judgment motion at the end of the week. They feel like real lawyers. They feel like I'm a part of the firm and I'm, I'm actually making a contribution and this is something that I can that I can do later on in life. Lawyers, they know that they're doing something big and that's what I want to be a part of. I want to be a part of something big in the future. Though we're celebrating 30 years now, we in some ways feel like we've only just begun. We found a program structure that works for our young people, that truly makes a difference in their lives. The kids that have gone through the program are now um, college graduates, practicing attorneys. It's really terrific to see a program that can tangibly touch the lives of our future. I completely am 100% positive that if it wasn't for Legal Outreach, I wouldn't be where I am today. My success is because of Legal Outreach. It's because of my participation in the program. It changes the trajectory of an individual's life and by the extension, their family and their community. My niece, right now, she sees me and she knows that college is something that, that she can do because I've done it. It allows you to see that, you know, your life can have a different roadmap. And in the end, if you have a goal, you're gonna be able to meet it. I don't know where I'm going to be, but I'm starting to get a good idea how to get there. Now I know that I'm gonna have a better future because I'm in legal outreach. And so the more this program can expand and grow and touch more lives and impact other communities and children like me, the better. So our hope and dream is not just to serve 220 per year, but to literally double that number over the course of the next several years. And with the help and assistance of those who believe in the dream that we have, we know that we're gonna be able to achieve it.